there are 308 MPs. More than a third of them became first-time parliamentarians in 2011. That was the case for new Democrat MP Lauren Liu. At the age of 20, she became the youngest woman in Canadian history ever elected to the House of Commons. We joined her during a recent constituency week in her riding of Rivière des Mille Îles in Quebec. When I was elected at the age of 20, it's actually close to the age that you folks are today. Inspiring future voters, perhaps even future politicians, MP Lauren Liu speaks to students at Lake of Two Mountains High School. I've been speaking to high school students and they're writing uh, multiple times over the course of my term and I think it's important because young people have great ideas and they have great suggestions uh, with regards to the environment, uh, the economy and with regards to their country and so it's really important to get young people involved in a discussion around Canadian politics. The 22-year-old has been active in politics since she was a teen. While studying at McGill, she was employed as the political campaigns coordinator for the student union. She was also an active member of the NDP McGill Campus Club and once served as co-president of the NDP's youth wing in Quebec. I got my first membership card when I was 16 to 17. And, um, and from then on, I participated in, many, uh, in a few campaigns federally uh, in downtown Montreal and in Notre Dame, uh, so participate, I participated in Thomas Mulcair's campaign as well. Lou is one of five former McGill University students who were elected during what was dubbed the Orange Wave in Quebec in May 2011. She was still at her campaign office when she learned the election results of her riding via text message. The night of the election I did actually find out through text message and uh, I Admittedly, wasn't expecting to win my election, like um, dozens and dozens of my colleagues in Quebec. She reflects on that unprecedented political change that, at the time, led 103 new Democrat MPs to Ottawa. Well, I think we're seeing a sea change in Canadian politics, and we're changing. We're seeing a fundamental change in the way Canadians are represented. And so, in the last elections, we saw a great diversity of MPs elected to the House of Commons. Many of them were women and many of them were young, like me. And so I think that's a very positive thing. Lou's picturesque urban riding is home to 104,000 people, 87% francophone, 6% anglophone. Employment insurance, the environment and the economy are concerns residents want their MP to bring to Ottawa. So riding that's been expanding enormously over the past few years. Because property is so low, uh, property prices are so uh, much lower here than they are in Montreal, a lot of young families come here, buy their first house here, decide to raise their families here. Um, but there are also many people who have been here for generations, and so there's a great, good uh, intergenerational mix here. The manufacturing sector is a major employer for locals. We have companies like Novabus that uh, create, that have manufacture hybrid buses uh, that uh, employ hundreds of people in the riding. And we have many people who work in aerospace um, in Mirabel, uh, which is just neighboring the riding. Um, we have in Baldier, a Bell helicopter, and many smaller um, and medium sized companies. <laughs> Later, in neighboring Saint Joseph du Lac, the MP drops in on a retirement party for the founder of a food distribution organization that helps people in need. It's important to remember that uh, poverty and food insecurity doesn't only exist um, in the north or in our urban areas, but also in our rural areas and in ridings such as mine, which are suburban. So it's important to remember that that need is there, that there's still many children who go to school hungry, and that there's still many families that need emergency food uh, from these organizations that do important work in our ridings. Whether it's going door to door to meet constituents, attending events, or visiting local businesses, Lou is often out in the community. On this day, the deputy science and technology critic visits Galax Systems, a company with a focus on renewable energy. Green technology really is an emerging economy in Canada, and many of these um, people who are involved in science and technology companies are uh, own small and medium-sized enterprises, employ people from their own communities, and are really at the cutting edge of technology today. Lou says being a good listener has been helpful in her efforts to bring the voices of her constituents to Ottawa. I think it's important to really um, speak face to face with people and to really be someone who's accessible to the population so people know that they can call me 
email me if they have any issues um, so that people know that I'm a human being and that I am accessible and that I'm listening. There's no doubt the job comes with its own set of challenges, but is age a factor? I think that there's no direct correlation between how old someone is and how competent they are. And like I said, I think there's a great diverse, there needs to be great diversity of people in politics. With a clear perspective on her role and responsibilities, MP Lauren Liu is moving forward. Reporting from the riding of Rivière des Mille Îles in Quebec, I'm Heather Seaman.